Diabetes and having a high body mass index, or BMI, cause nearly 6% of cancers worldwide. That's according to a new study in The Lancet that attributes 800,000 cancer cases each year to overweight, obesity, and diabetes. Fat increase the rate of estrogen that's circulating in the bloodstream, which increases the risk of that being utilized by the cancer to grow. Fat cells also increase inflammation in the body, which doctors now believe contributes to cancer and cardiovascular disease. Diabetes and obesity affect sugar levels, which also increases inflammation and hormones, which can increase cancer risk. The new study looked at data on 175 countries and linked diabetes and obesity to 18 cancers, with liver, breast, endometrial, and colorectal cancer accounting for most cases. All of which means that the number of cancer cases related to diabetes and high BMI is likely to keep increasing unless people around the world start getting healthy. We must take uh, big, big structural and innovative approaches to prevent obesity and to prevent diabetes. And we've got a long way to do on that, specifically tackling poor diet. That's why the World Health Organization has made non-communicable diseases and especially their link to obesity a campaign for action. The goal to reduce premature deaths from cancers, heart and lung diseases, and diabetes by 25% by 2025. That will require improved diets, including reduced sugar intake and more physical activity. And with more than 2 billion people around the world overweight and about 420 million diabetic, researchers say it's time to get healthy now. They're called non-communicable or chronic diseases. Worldwide, as we said, kills more than 40 million people each year. Two other important elements, by the way, to reducing these unnecessary deaths include reduction in tobacco use and alcohol consumption, both of which are higher in low- and middle-income countries, and they're the ones that have the largest cancer risk. And the good news is we don't need to wait for a breakthrough in medicine or anything. These are lifestyle changes that can oh, make yeah. significant decreases in these problems. Did you mention exercise? I did. I, I did, in fact. I know you did. <laughs> so important, though, that you Again. said lifestyle changes yes. because it's something that you just can't do for a couple of weeks or a couple of months. No, no. It's a whole, it's, you can start slow, but it's about a lifestyle change for life. Got it. Thank you, Doc.